Welcome to Link G4X Training Part 6. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at doing our basic configuration setup and basic sensor setup within our PC Link software. So the basic configuration is going to be things like our engine displacement, uh, making sure the firing order is correct for the engine type that we're working with, and the basic sensors are going to be our map sensor, our coolant temp sensor, our intake air temp sensor, and our throttle position sensor. These are the core inputs that we always have to have calibrated properly for any engine that we're gonna be tuning with our link. So we can add additional sensors above and beyond this, fuel pressure, oil pressure, taking a look at oil temperature, um, all kinds of things that we might wanna log or set up for calibration purposes, but we need to have these core channels set up and defined properly. So I'm gonna be showing you how to go in and do your basic configuration setup within our PC Link software, also then taking a look at how to set up these basic inputs that we need to make sure are set up and calibrate it right in order to do any tuning. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check all this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at our basic sensor configuration details and our setup for our Link G4X box that we're working with. So these are gonna be the, the core things that we have to make sure are right so that the engine can fire up and run. It's gonna deliver the proper fuel and spark timing. Without having this set up, our engine's not going to run right. So the core channels, the core input channels that we have to pay attention to and set up are going to be our map pressure, engine cooling temperature, intake air temperature, and throttle position. If these four aren't calibrated right, the engine will never run properly. So this is gonna be kind of the fundamentals of getting started creating a base calibration or just getting started doing the tuning on your vehicle. You have to make sure that they're configured right, that they're calibrated right, and that everything's gonna be ready to go. So when we fire up the motor, we're gonna be able to rely on this sensor information here as part of the calibration process. If we don't have any one of these calibrated right, it will throw things off, the engine will not run right. So before we go in and learn how to set these core channels up, we are gonna be taking a look at setting up our configuration details for the engine type that we're working with. This is gonna be specifically if we go into our basics page, which I'm on right now, on the upper left-hand corner. We're gonna find that we have a configuration a little box here that we can start to populate and program some values into. Let's talk about this first, then we'll move into setting up our sensor input here and making sure we calibrate them right. Uh, so in configuration here, we're gonna find we have cylinders. This specifies the number of cylinders that we're working with on the engine that we're tuning and trying to get running. So in the case here, I have eight cylinders. That's the default value that's in this base calibration file. I'm gonna assume I have a four cylinder engine. So I'm gonna be changing the number of cylinders here from eight to four. When I do that, my firing order table here will also update. So let's go and change that right now. If I double click here, I go from eight, I toggle here to four and click okay. Notice the firing order table here has updated. So now we're gonna have to go in and set that up, but let's move on to our next option here within our configuration window. We're gonna have engine type. It's gonna allow us to choose between a four stroke, a two stroke and a rotary engine. So it's gonna be telling the link what it's controlling. So in this case, I'm gonna assume I have a four cylinder engine. That's a four stroke. That's probably the most common that you're gonna be running into. So I'm gonna select this option right here, click OK. The next option here is custom TDC. This is gonna be assuming you have an odd fired engine that's not having a piston at top dead center at the traditional interval. So a four cylinder that's a four stroke is typically gonna be an evenly fired engine. So there's gonna be a piston at top dead center every 180 degrees. The auto cycle is zero to 720 degrees. So at 180 degree markers, we'll have a piston at TDC. On an odd fire engine, that is not always going to be the case. So in this situation, we have an odd fired engine. We'll have to go to the custom TDC here and specify what we want those to be at so that the link's gonna know in the rotation of the engine where it's expecting to have TDC on that cylinder. It's very important for uh, something like our spark timing or something like our fuel delivery if we're looking at our injection timing of where it specifies the injectors to spray and not spray. We need to make sure that the link can track what is going on with the engine as it's operating. So custom TDC here, if we go from off and we set it to on, it's gonna it's say this setting is only necessary on odd fired engines. In the case here, we're gonna assume we have an odd fired engine just so I can just display this real quick. Please reset the ECU power after updating the TDC points. That means we have to do a power cycle. We'll click okay here. Now, when we do that, we're gonna find down here at the bottom, custom TDC points. We have a little uh, grid table here we can double click. That's gonna pop open a new table here that I don't have populated onto my basics page layout. So our custom TDC points here, if we take a look, this is gonna be designating what our uh, markers are in the engine's rotation of where we're going to expect the piston to be at. So for example here, cylinder one 
will have its TDC at zero degrees. And this is going to be for an, uh, an even fired engine, even though uh, I've checked this on here, it's just going to be showing us in this even configuration here. Cylinder two would be at 180 degrees, cylinder three, 360, cylinder four, 540. So it's expecting in this situation with an evenly fired engine, we using our cylinders one, two, three, and four, where it's expecting to have that piston in relation to the engine spinning around in the auto cycle so it can keep track of that. Now, if we have an odd fired engine, it may not occur here at 180 degrees. It might be offset to something like 160 degrees. Cylinder three might be at something like um, 340 degrees. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.